Yellow, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching for this video. I'm gonna share with you guys my five winners and five losers on Robin Hood. All right guys, so for this video, I'm gonna be using three different websites to show you guys a couple of things. I'll start out with this site right here. It's TradingView, and this is what I use to look for stocks. Now, uh, keep in mind before I get started that I am not a professional. This is just a, my personal portfolio. I don't get paid for this. I've only been really doing it uh, since uh, April 2016. And so anything that I say here is not any kind of advice. It's just what I've been doing and how it's been working for me. So if that's something that might be used for you, or maybe you can learn from some of the mistakes that I'm making, then that's uh, the purpose of this video. So first, let me start by showing you guys how I selected some of the stocks that I have now. I do use technical analysis for most of these. I've only really used a fundamental analysis uh, for a couple of the stocks. I think I have like one or two that I've actually uh, done that for. But uh, for most of these, I just really follow the graphs. I don't, I haven't really had time to get really in depth on some of these companies. And so there is a higher risk with the technical investing. So just keep that in mind as I go through these. Okay, so by using tradingview.com, what I did is I go to the graph view, I click on the stock screener, and then I made my own filters and I got a couple in here. There's some couple ones that are already kind of default. For example, I took this new 52 week high and I made it so that it only shows me stock that is under $20, between $5 and $20. So I'll click on that. It shows me these right here. And then I can just gonna kind of go through and see what the change has been. And I can click on each one of these and they'll pop up up here. And then I can look at five years and see how it's been doing. So this one has been doing good for the last five years. I look at the one year and you can tell that that one's going up. So that's something that I'll probably put on the side to keep an eye on and maybe even uh, invest on later on. But for right now, I'm just showing you guys uh, what my process is. I did cover some of this in one of the first videos that I did where I talked about the strategy that I use. And so the whole idea is to get a, as many of the stocks that uh, have confidence in, buy those, and then a year later, uh, keep the good ones, sell the bad ones. And so it's been over a year since the last time I did that, uh, but that's going to be for another video. Okay, so I go from this one to the actual portfolio on Robinhood. As you can see, I got about uh, 30000 in the market right now that it's my own money, but I do have a margin account, which means I'm borrowing some money from Robinhood. And the total of my portfolio, including the margin account, is uh, over 40000 but I'll show you guys that later on. So this is the value as it stands now. So today you can see it was a good day. It went up $782. And because I have Robinhood Gold, I get access to the after hours. And so that's why that pops up. And so today it was 782 for the week. It was 1100. The month uh, has been 4,000 in the last three months. So you can see there's a big dip right here. It's just now recovering from that. In the last year, this is the big one right here that uh, happened starting October last year and it just started recovering uh, towards the end of December, right before Christmas last year. And so it's been kind of recovering and then it dipped again and back up. And so the, my whole history right here, and you can tell that I've added about 25,500 of my own money. And so basically I don't have any more savings accounts. I got rid of the savings accounts and I put as much money as I can into the market. And even I can't believe how much money I've been able to invest since I started. So this is April, 2016. At my peak, I was at 35,000, almost 36. And that was in September of 2018. And it was uh, up $10,000. And right around this time here, I decided to sell the bad stock that I had and I bought $14,000 worth of new stock. And within a week, it just collapsed. And so that was scary. And because I did have a margin account, I had to add money to the account to make sure that I didn't go below my 50% requirement. And so right here, I ended up adding a bunch of money. Thankfully, I had the money to add. When we were getting to the end of this dip right here, I was for sure gonna run out and then it started recovering, so I didn't have to worry about that. And since then, it got up to about 32,000, and then it took another dip in July, and it hit uh, 25,000, somewhere on there. And now, as I mentioned, it's recovering 
uh, back up. All right, so that's just a real quick history of uh, my Brahman Hood account. So let's get started with the winners and the losers. I'm gonna start out with the uh, losers, the fifth worst, if that made sense. So that one is gonna be Shiloh. So this one right here, as you can see, I'm gonna scroll down and I bought this one in October 3rd, 2018, about a thousand dollars worth. And now I only have uh, $426, so that means I lost $584. And then I'll show you guys when I bought it. So if you look at five years, October 2008, so right around here, I bought it and it just started going down. So that was a bad time, as you can see. When I saw it, it was moving up. And then when I bought it, it just started going down and just hasn't stopped. So that was the first one right there. That's one of the bad ones. All right, so let's go with the fourth worst, which is SDPI right here. And Superior Drilling Products. That one, I'll go down here. I bought it in October 3rd, $1,000 worth. So right now I have $243 left. If I show you guys the five-year mark, you see how that it was started peaking all the way from back here from June 23rd. So it just kept going up and up and it spiked right here. So I decided to buy it and then blop right there. So that's why I lost on that one. So that's the fourth worst. And the third worst is weed I bought back in October 3rd, 2008. Again, I remember I bought 14 different stocks. So most of the worst ones are from then. And I have $220 left in that. If I show you guys October 3rd, so right around there. So you can see it went down and actually started recovering. So I could have sold up here, but it was still within the, the year. So I kept waiting and then boom. So something's going on around here. To be honest, this is the first time I saw that. I don't know what that is. From 70 cents to 370 and then back down to 70. so that was weird so that's another risk of investing if you don't have uh, time to track these and things like this are going to happen okay so let's go to the second worst which is this one zaf hen i don't to be honest i don't know what they are technology health and biotechnology so remember by using the technical analysis you don't really look so much to the company you really look more into the performance in the market which is again more risk and so i bought this one again october 3rd a thousand dollars worth i'll show you five years and then you can see that it was pretty flat for a while and then it started picking up and so i saw that i caught it and i'm like okay let me buy this hopefully it'll reach this kind of level but it didn't i bought it right here right around there and then it dipped down it recovered a little bit and it just been down ever since uh, so this one, I'm down $941. So yeah, that one hurts. And the worst out of all of them is going to be this one right here, which is a trans enterix medical devices. And again, I bought this one in October of last year. So I'll go to the five year mark. You can see that it was doing really good all the way from May 2017. It was up and then down a little bit and then it just started jumping and I got excited. I was tracking it and I'm like, okay, let me buy it right around here. And then for some reason, it just collapsed and it kept going down and down and down. And now I'm down $968 out of a thousand. So this is by far the worst. You know, the interesting thing is that if you look at the analyst rating, it says 50%. So 50% say buy it, don't sell it and hold it. I don't know if I should take their advice here and just hold it, or if it should be the first one that I sell because I mean, I'm negative 90 something percent. And uh, that's not good. When I first started investing, I didn't want these to get below 7%. And so I would, buy them if they would get close to seven percent i would sell them and then they would spike up and i would end up losing money instead of potentially making money so i just said to don't do anything until i hit a year and then make a decision after that so that's the reason why these got so bad at over 90 percent in these last two okay so let's get to the good news we go back and i'm going to start out with the fifth best and 
and that one's gonna be C Y R X. So Cryoport, uh, transportation logistic materials. So I bought this one in July 2017, a thousand dollars worth. It's six ninety, and right now it's at fourteen ninety six, and so I'm up two thousand two hundred and forty four dollars. So that's the fifth best. And then let's go to the fourth best, which is PTCT, and it is PTC Te Therapeutics. And so I bought this one back in July 2017, same as the last one. And so far, I'm up $2,505. Okay, so there you go. And then I can show you guys where I bought it. So July 2017, which is right around here. And so it's just been up, even even when I uh, dropped here, it wasn't that bad, it recovered pretty good. If you look at this higher point here, it's kind of been flat for the last year, but it doesn't matter, it's still there. So that is the fourth best, and let's go to the third best, which is CHGG, SHEG, which is Education Retail, engages in the preparations of learning platforms for students. Okay, so that's what they do. I bought this one back in July 2017. Right now I'm up $2,691 right there. So as you can see, these last three I've had since 2017. So they made the first cut. That's why they're still around there because they're doing good. And this is one of the few that I actually did the fundamental. I kept seeing it come up and I love technology. I knew AMD was uh, doing good in the market. I knew their products, so I decided to buy it. They did have a good run, they were going up. That was one of the reasons that I bought it, but the other reason is because I recognized the brand. So I bought this one in 2017, and $1,000 worth, and now I'm up 2,790. And I'll show you guys this one. Uh, so I bought it in July 2017, right around right here. So you can see it was already in a really good run. It was at $13 here, but it had bent at a point at $2 and something cents. So it was already moving up. And then I bought it and it kind of went down for a little while. And then it went up. And then that October thing happened and went back down again. And now it's just been recovering pretty good. And so now the number one and the best stock that has worked out for me so far is NBCR, which is Novo Cure Medical UK. So uh, just a quick point that some of the other companies that are doing really bad are also in the medical industry. And so the fact that this one's doing good and those are doing bad, it doesn't necessarily reflect on the industry. So I bought this one back in July, 2017. I actually bought less than a thousand bucks. I think it was one of the last companies that I bought, so I didn't have the full thousand to invest. So it was $845. And if it would have been a thousand, I would have been killing it because now I'm up $4,173 just on this one by itself. So imagine if I would have bought another $150. Actually, let's check it out. So I bought it for $1,879. So $150 divided by $18. 79 that would have been another let's say eight shares times 82 that would have been another 700 dollars uh, but that's just what happens so here you go this is the best one that i've had and so before i move on to the last website that i want to show you guys for some reason robin hood is giving me issues with some of the stocks here so if i show you this nmrk which is the newmark group it shows average cost of zero, but an equity of 485. So I lost money on these. For some reason, I lost the, uh, the value that I paid for it. And I tried contacting Robinhood. They haven't been able to reply to me. Um, I don't know what's going on in there, but I also mentioned it in the last Robinhood update that I made. So be it for that reason, every time that I buy on Robinhood, I also plug it into investing.com portfolio that I have. And so that way, this is the total value of my portfolio, including the borrowed money from Robinhood. If I show you guys the total up, I'm up 4,000, almost $5,000, which is 12.65%. But it shows me everything right here. So you can, you can see that I have a lot of different uh, stocks. 
uh, from the best one. Oh, okay. You know what I just realized is that I gave you guys my total equity on the last five. All right, so this is reflecting the new numbers here. I made a mistake. So even though I lost 4,000 on the five losers, uh, I made 9,400 on the top five winners. So that just shows you how things kind of balance themselves out uh, after a while, hopefully. All right, guys, so that's it. I kind of confused myself there towards the end, but the main reason that I showed you guys the investing.com uh, website is because I wanted you guys to be aware that not everything is gonna work perfectly on Robinhood. So it's good to have a backup uh, plan or a different way to track all your investments investments, whether it's a Excel sheet, another website, or another app. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We've got a couple of videos coming up pretty soon, uh, especially on investing. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you hit that bell so you get notified when those videos are up. And I really appreciate you guys watching. See you on the next one. Bye.